In this video, we're going to talk about physical properties of enantiomers, diastereomers, and mesocompounds. Let's start off looking at this pair of molecules to determine whether they're enantiomers, diastereomers, or mesocompounds of each other. Um, if we assign absolute configuration, we would see that this is an S, S compound. This is an R, R. And I'll let you check that for yourself, um, but we're not going to spend time assigning all the configurations in this video. So because this is an SS and an RR compound, we know that they are in antimers of each other. Now what could we say about their physical properties? Are we able to distinguish them? Um, and that answer would be yes, but no. Their physical properties are exactly the same. So we'll say PP equals same, physical properties are the same. But we'll make an exception for um, polarized light because when you put this SS compound in a solution and pass plain polarized light through it, let's say the light um, enters into the solution you know, in this plane, it might come out in this plane right here. So let's say that this molecule rotates light clockwise by 15 degrees. Because this is the enantiomer of that molecule, we know that the light would go in plane, but actually come out at the exact same magnitude, <clears throat> but different direction. So we would say it is negative 15 degrees or anti-clockwise. Otherwise, boiling point, melting point, um, separation by distillation, those would all not be able to separate these two molecules um, out from each other. All we could do is just say that yes, we do have two molecules um, that are different when we put it through plain polarized light. Now, let's look at this pair. We have an S, S, like before, but now we have an S, R. And we know that this is going to be S, R, or R, S, because we could see that it's a meso compound with a plane of symmetry between it. We can call these two molecules diastereomers because they differ um, in absolute configuration at only one of multiple stereocenters. We will say that the physical properties for these are different. And the easiest way to explain why they are different would be looking at this pair of diastereomers actually. So these are geometric isomers. They're cis trans. We have our trans and our cis. And the reason why that these two would have different boiling points and melting points is that the molecules have different dipole moments. So we know that these alkyl groups are electron donating, meaning that they'll donate their electrons to this double bond right here. So we'll say that there's a partial positive charge on the alkyl group donating electrons to the double bond. And the same for this one. We can see that the vector sums of the dipole moments are in exact opposite directions. And if you add vectors that are um, in the same magnitude but completely different directions, they actually cancel out. So this trans molecule has no dipole. The cis molecule, on the other hand, we have um, dipole moments that are both going towards the double bond. Um, but not in completely opposite directions. Therefore, those dipole moments would add together, and we have an overall polar molecule with this um, 2-butene, meaning that our cis conformation would have a higher boiling point or melting point because of the extra polarity. Um, and these two diastereomers can actually be exper experimentally tested for which have, has the higher boiling or melting point. It just so happens that this meso compound has the higher boiling point as compared um, to this non-meso compound. So enantiomers have same physical properties, different um, rotation of light. Diastereomers have different physical properties and different pol um, rotation of plane polarized light, but it won't be the exact same magnitude. This one might have 15 degrees. This one might have 13 degrees. Um, it's not going to be completely di different uh, magnitudes. And then finally, if we looked at these pair of compounds right here, um, 
we would see that these are, again, meso compounds, and they're actually the exact same compounds, um, just because this is S, R, R, S. If you flipped this molecule um, 180 degrees vertically, it would look exactly like this molecule right here. Therefore, they're the same molecule, exact same physical properties. Thank you for your time in watching this video. I uh, definitely recommend you do some practice um, in the separation of enantiomers, especially uh, resolution of enantiomers. Thank you.